on the instructions of the hair from uh, DCC Specialties uh, to enable the auto throw it brings a schematic which you follow it's pretty simple the two main uh, feeders for your power bus go connected to uh, position one and two on the hair as indicated and then the feeders that I just uh, soldered to the section of track that I will isolate uh, the clear route feeder will go into position four and the throw route feeder will go into position three it's self-explanatory and it's pretty easy also you have to power your frogs like I've powered all my frogs and the feeder from the frog will go into position five following the next step would be to cut uh, your track to create the uh, isolated section I normally like to keep it at about two inches a two inch isolation that way uh, any small locomotive that you may have like a switcher uh, the wheelbase will bridge the gap uh, just enough to set the auto throw in motion however uh, you won't get a dead spot in case uh, your uh, locomotive wheelbase is kind of short the reason is that the track that is set for the diverging route and let's say for instance the track is set on the clear route this section of track will be unpowered until the locomotive crosses bridges the gap the wheels will power uh, from the let's say from the uh, rear rail power the isolated section and then in turn throw your uh, switch using the auto throw so I'll go ahead and uh, cut the isolation and there you go you should see your uh, you could be able to see the, uh, the cuts on the track one here one here and this is your isolation section now remember these sections are on the inside rail of the frog that would be these two rails here the clear route and the diverging route to this frog right here those are the two that you need to cut and isolate one and then uh, two right here I also uh, like to cut uh, pieces small pieces of uh, styrene into a strip as you can see there and I'll cut four pieces to fit into each of the uh, gaps that I cut. Once uh, they're in, I will uh, glue them with CA and file them down with the Dremel and a file. And eventually they will end up looking something like that. And once you paint the track, again, you'll never see it. All right, as you can see, the pieces are in, styrene pieces. I use uh, Great Plains Pro CA thick to glue them in place and before they uh, fit them in I file them down I file the styrene pieces down a little bit so they fit uh, they're a little oversized so I'll file them down so they fit perfectly and the uh, Pro CA I borrowed from my other hobbies which uh, happen to be remote control airplanes and remote control uh, helicopters. It's a 90 size helicopter and an electric T-Rex 500. There are some old blue box DC locomotives that I can't use anymore because of the uh, new DCC system. I really don't want to spend the time of putting decoders in them. But who knows? I may, uh, I may do that. The hair is connected to the tortoise in this shot. And I'll go under to give you a better look at the wiring.
the first two from top to bottom black and red are the power coming from the track or your DCC bus position three four and five are the power coming from the track from the diverging route and the clear route that's three and four and then five is to power the frog six seven and eight are uh, lines that connect that I use to connect to light the LED signals seven being the common which is the black wire six and eight are the two direction the throw and the uh, the throw route or the diverging route and the clear route now back over here these are the ones that I just uh, installed now which is the uh, black and this red the black for the auto throw is the isolated track section from the diverging route and the red the isolated track section from the clear route and those go back to the pieces that I just showed you that I cut into the track. Now we'll uh, see it hopefully in operation.